Hey everybody, we are with the stars of Selma right now at the Golden Globes. Let me let let me find out from you guys. The film just released. It's got such a huge audience that is really looking forward to the film. Working on the film, what do you guys feel that it's the importance of the film today and, and what people are really like looking out for? Well, I mean, a lot of stuff is just, you know, same kind of scenes, different clothes, um, basically. I mean, you know, it, you know, it, it, there's some solace in the fact that, like, things happen and everything's better, but it's not. And uh, talking about holding a mirror up to life as it is now, and I think it's really good because it impassions people to move forward and keep working to make things as it should be and to fulfill Dr. King's dream and to fill the dreams of all the people, that, that the heroes that, that went through the film. So it's nice it's got, like, this huge... Uh, 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 you know, huge swirl of, of talking about it, but it, it draws folks' attention that things aren't where it should be. So, yeah, that's for me. So, uh, the spotlight's on you, Ned. Enough said. No, no, no. Keep, keep, keep. no uh, as he beautifully said, I think it's important to the times and what we're going through, and it's easy to look at history and be like, that's something that occurred back then, but of course we see it regurgitating itself, and one of the major reasons why is because we aren't able to clearly assess what we did in the past to cause us to be in these situations. So this movie sheds light on a lot of those things. I played Jimmy Lee Jackson, whose death was one of the uh, catalysts to the uh, movement itself, and which I knew nothing about, and I think a lot of people didn't before this film. So it sheds lights on the little things that we can use to hopefully move forward in the future in a more positive way. Well, we obviously are in a state right now where we, we have Michael Brown Eric Garner, the cases that are going on, the importance of this film I feel like is really detrimental to the African American, not just Afri Af African American community, but all communities. What do you feel that people need to really take from the message from the film, both of you? Just don't stop. Like, you know, I mean, never be... You know, if there's a freedom not given to somebody else, and if, and if you don't acknowledge the freedoms given to you, and if you don't use those freedoms to help someone else, then you're not living life. You're not being a true human being. And I think, you know, Ava and, and David and, 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 and everyone really kind of focused that. It's kind of like, you know, it's like holding the mic to the next person. So you're like, you enjoy the film? Now what are you going to do? Yeah. You have to do something. So, yeah, I think that's, that's the thing you got to take away. For, uh, that's the thing I took away, to make myself better. Stand up for the truth in the face of whatever adversity we, we may face you have an obligation to stand up for the truth if you know the truth regardless and right now is more important than any time is for us to stand up for the truth get off the internet come out here and campaign for something that really makes some change you know, March. That's what I feel. yeah and March. do you guys feel that the protesting that's going on right now is really helping or do you feel like it's something that's happening that people are doing that it's just gonna kind of go underneath the it's hype in the press right now, but it's not really going to be something that stands ground. Or what, do you, what is your viewpoint about it? I mean, the protesting, it's not doing anything. I mean, I think the protesting is doing something. It's, it's not, it's not anti-police. It's not policism. It's, you know, the real protest, the people that are, are, are true to the movement, I think, are not anti-police, are not police. There, there is no policism. And I think it is those people and the people with like a laser pointed view and to knowing what they want, knowing they want comp cameras, know they want better training, knowing uh, uh, they, they want those things. Um, I think that's the movement that's going to not just be, you know, media and, and, and focused on that way as far as like the, the sphere. So I think that's what's important. I think that's what's going to move on. All the extra stuff, no. And I think Common, uh, our castmate, his speech crystallized so yeah. much. Do you know what I mean? When you said uh, uh, it's not just about the African Americans, it's not just everyone. about minorities, it's about everyone. And Dr. King felt that way too. So it's like, you know what? If, if someone, your neighbor, if someone you love, if someone your friend doesn't ha does is not getting treated right, you're not getting treated right. And I think Common really crystallized that in his speech tonight. It was beautiful. I got choked up when I heard him say it. So, yeah. Yeah, very quickly, I think all of us actively need to think of ways to make differences in, in our communities and in our society. If you feel like protesting is your way of showing that you're not going to stand for this, then I think that's what you should do. But anything that you feel can make a change to all of this shit that's surrounding us that ain't necessarily what we want to be, we need to actively move toward that. So I'm not going to say that protesting is necessarily the way to go about it, but I'm not going to say it's not. I'm saying that if you're demonstrating that you ain't standing for this, then I think you're doing something, something positive. And on a lighter note, tonight is obviously the Golden Globes. You guys were both there. Was this your first time at the Golden Globes? I actually wasn't at the uh, the ceremony. I was watching it from home. Were you watching it? Yeah, I snuck too. Yeah, yeah we, we snuck. <laughs> we snuck. Well, what what was your favorite moment of tonight's show? This is actually the first Golden Globes I've watched. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, yeah. I've never watched it before. 
Um, favorite favorite moment? I mean, common speech. Right. You know, because you're just hanging on it every time. Because we had four, we had four tonight, mm -hmm. and these are people you know. These are people you love. You, these are people that like you sweat with, and you know, like we're in the hot sun with, and you're like, please win, please yeah. win. Yeah. I get it now. I get why people care, and that was for me. Right. But my favorite moment was Common gets up and she just holds that statue, and he just does that speech. Just that was the best moment. So great, so great. You know, we all worked so hard. Common did as well with the music, and he yeah. bleeds that music. Yeah. And to have it recognized on this platform is just wonderful. So that was my favorite part as well, seeing my boy up there standing up. Represent. Glory. Yeah. Glory. Last question. If you two were asked to host the awards, who would you pick as your co-host? <laughs> uh, you know what, Wendell Pierce, because he knows everybody, so no one would get mad at me if I'm with Wendell Pierce. Every, I, you know, Wendell's my host. I can say whatever, and Wendell will be later like, no, John's cool, John's cool. You don't know John, so that's that's Wendell. Yeah, Wendell will be my co-host. Yeah. Tupac hologram. <laughs> I like that. Tupac, I, you bring it back to holograms. I like that. Well, it's a pleasure. I, listen, congratulations for the movie. Everyone's excited about it, and I give you guys like so much props for just being a part of that project. So.